Word problems in math often cause anxiety in students, but they don't have to. Word problems just require a few strategies and then, of course, some practice. Really, word problems are simply taking real life situations and translating them. So, how do we get good at word problems? Well, before you get started, you need to be comfortable with some math terminology. These are the terms that people often use to indicate related math operations. Depending on the term used, you'll know whether to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Review these terms in your course and make sure you know what to do with them when you see them in a problem. Once you're comfortable with the terms, here are some steps for solving. Step 1. Read the problem through. Do it in a relaxed way. You don't have to solve anything yet. Just read it as though it was a mini-story. Sometimes there are lots of words which makes the problem look scary, but just relax and have a nice little read. Visualize the situation if you can. If you need, you can read it two or three times just to have a sense for the situation. You may even wish to draw a diagram if that helps you visualize what's going on. Step 2. Organize yourself. It's time to pick apart the story and start preparing for a solution. I often do this by reading it through and underlining the important parts in the question, and then thinking again and making a list below, which might reduce some of those underlined parts. There may be some extra information that isn't needed to solve the problem. We only list the important parts, the parts that will help us solve the problem, and the parts we're being asked for. Step 3. Strategize and solve. This is where you need to be creative. Sometimes your strategy is easy and you'll just see it once you have your list. Sometimes it takes a bit more thinking. If you haven't made a diagram yet, it might be a good time to consider it. It might help you come up with a strategy. Can you guess the answer? If so, how did you make that guess? Does this lead to new ideas on solving? Whatever your strategy, ensure you show your work. If a formula is involved, write it down. Explain to the reader your steps in producing a solution. Keep it clear and tidy. And finally, step four, confirm your answer. Reread the question. Does the answer make sense still? You may have to check the units. Do the units make sense? Note that these steps are just guiding principles. You don't need to memorize them. Given that, I'd suggest that you follow them for your first set of problems. After that, you'll have the key aspects set as habits.